After searching for some drivers, I found a qualified woofer to design a transmission line. Dayton DSA-1358 is a woofer whose frequency response is extended to 50 Hz. You can use a tweeter beside it to reach high frequencies. We're going to design a folded horn for this one. However, one can use it for a bass reflex enclosure or a sealed box. You can purchase this woofer from Parts Express or any website you like. Scroll down and download these files. Now, everything is ready to simulate the woofer in software programs. If you remember, we've created an Excel file to simplify Akabox simulation. The download link is in the description below. First, enter the specs in the Excel file like this. All required software links are available in the description. Now enter the required values in Hornrisp. Just note what I do. Click on Add, then double-click on SD cell. If your driver specs don't include XMAX, leave it as it stands. Follow this direction and choose Hypex with driver. The first frequency is the resonance frequency and the second is the resonance frequency times 4. Enter 0 for these two cells. Adjust the pink line position. The value of the cell adjusts the distance between the rear wall of the enclosure and the center of the throat. Note that enter the same value as the desired enclosure depth in the cell. Enter the throat area for S1 and the mouth area for S2. The horn length and horn wrist must be entered in centimeters. This is the side view of our design. As you know, we fold this straight shape to create a folded horn. Something like this. The frequency responses. As can be seen, the starting frequency is not 52 Hz as we wanted. The first tip to reach lower frequencies is to use a lower frequency in the Excel file. After that, push the escape button to enter the new values in Hornris. The new response, as you can see, the response is extended to 50 Hz. We need to simulate this horn in Akabak to see what its 3D shape is. Before creating the 3D shape of our design, we must enter the driver dimensions and its specifications in Akabak. Before starting, you need an Akabak template. The process to get such an Akabak template has been explained in these videos. The cone diameter is twice the cone radius. Enter it in this cell. I should say you need to double click to open any window you want in Akabak. Enter the voice coil diameter. Everything is clear in this figure. TD1 is less than HD2, and DD1 or the dust cap width is more than the voice coil diameter. If the whole height is about 6.86, HD2 will be about 3 centimeters. These are approximate values and obtained from the figure.
Do it again for the front cone. The cone is created. After that enter the speaker specs in LEM tab. Set the smooth factor as 10 and start the copy-paste process like the previous videos. This copy-paste process has been explained several times. You can import these points into any software you want, even software designed for CNC machines, to get the folded horn in the shortest possible time. Of course, you can assemble the horn part by part with MDF panels. If you want to change the points, you can do so after importing them into your desired software. After completing the shape, drag this files into Vax Viewer. All the required software programs links are available in the description. This is the Akabak response, and this is the Hornresp response. The deep null and Hornresp and Akabak occurs at the same frequency, and the responses are almost similar. Enter 0.3 for horn damping. We don't enter any values for enclosure damping because it doesn't significantly affect damping the fluctuations in the software, but it may affect them in reality. Damping the enclosure had a good effect on smoothing the response, and the low frequencies are smooth. Try to simulate it first if you want to make something like this.